Today's video is on strategies for stress management. So we're going to look at the three dimensions of a person, a little bit about brain wiring, and then strategies for the body, strategies for the mind, some points about relational stress, and then strategies for the spirit. So let's get started. We're created body, soul, and spirit. And so because of that, we're going to look at all of those dimensions today. In terms of brain wiring, the brain is the nervous system. It's organized into really two divisions, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. The one system keeps us activated when we need to get something done, and the other system helps us relax. Unfortunately, most people are overly stimulated for a variety of reasons. And so most everyone can benefit from some stress management strategies. So some strategies for the body. The experts recommend you spend 15 minutes a day in simple things that reduce the excess stimulation. And so some of these strategies would be soothing activities like quiet music, sitting in nature, looking at a fish tank, things like that. Many of you are probably familiar with breathing techniques that help you relax. You can also add peaceful imagery to the breathing exercises. If you're not familiar with breathing exercises, uh, there's tons of them on YouTube, or you could Google uh, breathing techniques. Calm activities that relax us are good most people need to slow down the pace of their life. They're trying to squeeze too much into a day. It's good to take breaks during the day, to slow down your pace, to regroup. You'll actually be more efficient if you do that. Also, in terms of taking care of your body, it's not a good idea to skip meals. Uh, it's better to have something small rather than skip meals. Try to get enough sleep. We really do need eight hours. Americans tend to deprive themselves and you won't function as well and you'll be more easily stressed if you're not getting enough sleep. Watch about your use of caffeine and sugar and also alcohol. Try to find other ways, relaxation or exercise to uh, calm your anxieties. So some strategies for the mind. It's helpful to rehearse memories that give you joy and make you happy. It's good to say no if you need to, being able to exert your personal power in a polite way, rather than giving in to every request that other people bring to you. If you have time for a hobby, that helps people regroup. A big one is watch how you talk to yourself. If you're talking to yourself negative things like, I can't take this, I can't keep up with this, that's really going to aggravate your stress. So you want to talk to yourself. You want to talk to yourself in calming ways, saying things like, I'm going to do this one step at a time. I can ask for help if I need to. So soothing things to help your mind and then your body be relaxed because your, your body will react to whatever's going on in your mind. It's important to let go of things that you can't control. Take charge of the things you can, but if there's something you really can't control, it's not really useful to stay focused on that. I do encourage people to limit entertainment or news that gets them too worked up especially as it gets closer to when you're trying to go to sleep. And watch perfectionism, self-criticism, things like that will increase your stress. Uh, try to find healthy things that help you laugh and have fun. Everybody needs time to relax. Everybody needs fun. And you might be the kind of person that actually has to plan for that. I also encourage people to use a journal to write out the things on their mind that, that is stressing them. For some people, writing it out helps them um, kind of release it. Now there is an, another dimension to stress management pertaining to relational stress, but 
most of that is in my video on healthy personal boundaries about how to determine where your boundaries need to be how to be respectful in interacting with other people when you need to set limits keeping positive people in your life and using I sentences when you need to have uh, kind of a difficult conversation so some strategies for the spirit uh, it's it's been documented over the ages that prayer and meditation are powerful uh, tools to help us be stronger at the core of our being to connect with God and also to bring us levels of peace and confidence and courage that we don't seem to be able to muster up in and of ourselves another spiritual strategy is a practice called soaking and basically soaking is listening to quiet worship music it allows you to connect with God even if you're just sitting there and enjoying his presence those are all strategies for the spirit that will help you with stress management I've got some ideas for how to build your supports because that will also help you with stress management connecting through clubs or hobbies through support groups through a church or volunteering our social network has a lot to do with how we manage stress so just a few thoughts on finding balance I know I've gone very quickly through these we need to find balance between taking care of ourselves and taking care of others both men and women often have trouble finding that balance we have to find balance between taking control and accepting things we can't change and also I work a lot with helping people finding the balance between being proactive which is good or just being crisis oriented which is not good we want to have a pace of life and problem solving that makes sense so finally I'd like to close with a prayer for peace Lord we thank you that you are the Prince of Peace I ask you to help this listener recognize things they can do for their physical being, for their soul, for their relationships, for their spirit, to live in peace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks for listening. If this helped you, check out my other videos on YouTube. You can listen to my brand new podcast, Life Without Baggage, on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or Spotify. You can find my books on Amazon or visit my website to find out about scheduling a speaking engagement. Thanks for listening.